Hello students, this is part 2 of building stones and rocks. Earlier I have explained 25 questions in part 1. From 26th to remaining questions I have been explaining in part 2. Okay, if you haven't seen part 1, you cannot get complete concept in part 2. Please go through first part and then only go through second part. Okay. So, the 26th question is, in stone masonry, stones are so placed that direction of pressure to the plane of bedding is right angles 45 degrees, 60 degrees, parallel. So, that is, you can see here, these are all the stones. So, stones were arranged here. And when we apply pressure here, so this is applied pressure. So, this is a bedding plane. So, this bedding plane is horizontal, applied pressure is vertical. So, the angle between these two is 90 degrees. Okay, so stones are so placed in the direction of pressure to the plane of plating is at 90 degrees. Clear? So, answer A for question number 26. Coming to 27, on which of the following factors the crushing strength of stone does not depend? Clear? So, you can see crushing strength. Depends on specific gravity, and arrangement of the particles, arrangement of the particles, arrangement of the particles is nothing but it is a texture, so it is called texture. Okay, so that is crushing strength depends on specific gravity and tension. So, A, C, both A and C. It does not depend on workability. It does not depend on workability. So, answer B. For question number 27, coming to 28th question, marble is an example of. So, generally I have given examples of igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic rocks. In those examples, you can find marble is an example of metamorphic rock. So, marble is an example of. Metamorphic rock. So, answer B for question number 28. 29th question. Which of the following is main composition of granite? Granite composition. So, granite is composition of quartz and feldspar and mica so because of these three granite will be formed so quartz feldspar and mica answer a for question number 29 coming to 30th question the argillaceous rocks have their principal constituent as I have explained coming to chemical classification siliceous, argillaceous, and calcareous. Siliceous, argillaceous, and calcareous. Siliceous, the dominant material chemical is silica. Argillaceous, the dominant mineral is clay. Calcareous, it is calcium carbonate. So, clay is the main constituent of argillaceous rock. 
So answer B for question number 30. Coming to 31st question. The solidification of molten magma when it reaches surface of earth results in the formation of so you can see 31st question. Solidification of molten magma. So this solidification of molten magma can be done in two ways. Once it is below the surface of earth. Other way it is after reaching earth it will get solidifies. So above the surface of earth. Above the surface of earth. If the magma solidifies below the surface of earth, that type of rock is called intrusive igneous rock. If it solidifies after reaching earth surface, it is called extrusive igneous rock. Okay. Here, when it reaches the surface of earth, that is he is talking regarding extrusive igneous rock. So, the example for extrusive igneous rock is basalt trap. Example for intrusive igneous rock is granite. So, he mentioned in the problem that after reaching the surface of earth, it is getting solidified. That is, he is talking regarding it extrusive igneous rock. So, it is basalt trap. So, basalt and trap. So, answer C for question number 31. Coming to 32, which of the following could be specific gravity of stone to be used in building materials obviously? It is 2.6 to 2.8 generally 2.6 to 2.8 the range is 2.7 answer A 32 33 single S H I N G L E single is A so you can have some definition what is a single single is widely used as roof covering on residential buildings. And the single is made up of single is made up of wood or it may be made up of asphalt Asphalt is a type of bitumen or cork and slate and disintegrated laterite. Right? Okay, so single is made up of disintegrated laterite. Right? So it is answer B for question number 33. Coming to 34th question, which of the following is the reason? For the decrease in the use of stones as building materials. So the most important reason. Because in many constructions. Stone is avoiding to use as a building material. Because we will not know the exact strength of stone. By rationally. That is. Strength of stones. Cannot be rationally analyzed. So, when strength of stone is not possible to analyze rationally, because we exactly don't know the value of strength of the stone, so in that case, we try to avoid the usage of stone as building materials. Okay, answer B, it is one of the application type question. Answer B for question number 34. And coming to 35. Quadjite is a. Quadjite is a siliceous rock. 
Silicious rock formed after metamorphism of sandstone. So, actually, sandstone is a sedimentary rock. When sandstone is subjected to a high pressure and temperature, it will get converted into quartzite. Quartzite is a metamorphic rock. So, by silicious. So, the more important material in quartzite is silica. Clear? So, answer B for question number 35. Coming to 36. It is a repeated question. Plaster of Paris can be obtained from calcination of gypsum. Answer B for question number 36. Coming to 37. If the rocks are formed due to alteration of original structure under heat and excessive pressure. So when igneous or sedimentary rocks are subjected to excessive heat and pressure, they will get converted into sediment metamorphic rocks. Answer D for question number 37. Coming to 38, find one, find the one which is not used in quarrying. So quarrying means we need to blast the rocks and collect the stones from the rocks. Okay. So to blast, what are all the explosives? What are all the explosives that we will use to blast a rock? So the first explosive is detonators. So detonators. So when dynamite is used as explosives. When dynamite is used as explosives, in that case the explosive material is called as detonators. This type of questions will be asked in future SSCJE examinations. Detonator indicates brick. So, so he may be given some different options. It is one of the explosive material. And the next blasting powder. It is also called as gunpowder. And next is blasting gelatin. And next is cordite. And next is gun cotton. And next is liquid oxygen. So, out of the given options, gunpowder is a explosive, gun cotton is a explosive, dynamite is a explosive. So, the given options, not explosive is marble material. Marble powder is not an explosive. Clear? So, for this question, answer C. Coming to 39th question. Slate and marble belongs to. So obviously, in the examples of metamorphic rocks, slate and marble belongs to metamorphic rocks. So, answer B for question number 39. Coming to 40th question, in stone masonry stones are placed in position such that the natural bedding plane is. So stones are placed like this. Natural bedding. So when stones are placed, this is a bedding plane. So the pressure is applied in this direction. So this is pressure direction. So the pressure direction is vertical, bedding plane is horizontal. That is they are inclined at an angle 90 degrees. That is normal to the direction of pressure. Okay. So, answer A will be the correct answer for question number 40. Coming to 41st question. The subclassification of sedimentary rocks. So, this classification we haven't seen as of now. Okay. I am discussing 
the earlier classifications based on geological formation, igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic. Based on physical classification, sorry, based on chemical classification, siliceous, argillaceous, and calcareous. Based on physical classification, stratified, unstratified, and foliated. Okay, these are all classification of all the rocks. Now, coming to subclassification of sedimentary rocks. So, subclassification of sedimentary rocks. So, it is mechanical, chemical and organic. The example for mechanical, it is sandstone and siltstone and my mudstone. These are all mechanical come under mechanical classification and limestone, dolostone. This will come under chemical classification. Coal and chair is example of organic classification. Okay, so. Mechanical, chemical, and organic is the subclassification of sedimentary rocks. So, answer B for question number 41. Coming to 42, identify the process responsible for the formation of sedimentary rocks. Okay. Based on geological formation, rocks are classified into igneous sedimentary metamorphic. Igneous rocks are formed by solidification of molten mass of silicates at low or above the surface of earth. So this is reason for formation of igneous rocks. Okay. And when changes in texture of mineral composition of both igneous and sedimentary rocks due to high pressure and temperature will result in metamorphic rocks. And deposited, deposited layers of sand silt subjected to enormous overburden pressure. Over geological times, geological times means many more years result sedimentary rocks. So, answer C will be the process of formation of sedimentary rocks. Answer C for question number 42. Coming to 43, pegmite, sorry, it is pegmatite. Pegmatite is example of, so you can say here it is, Pegmatite is formed by solidification of magma takes place below the earth. They called as intrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks means solidification of magma takes magma takes place inside the earth. Extrusive igneous rocks means solidification of magma takes place above the earth. Clear? So this is also called as plutonic rock. Okay, so intrusive igneous rock is pegmatite is intrusive igneous rock. Answer C for question number 43. Coming to 44, already discussed the subclassification of sedimentary rocks is mechanical, chemical, and organic. Answer B for question number 44. Coming to 45. Falling stone is suitable for damp proofing. Very important. Damp proofing. So, this damp proofing is used to prevent entry of moisture from Passing into interior surface. So, when 
we are restricting the process of moisture into interior surface there we it is required to use damp proofing materials so damp proofing materials are three types one is flexible flexible or butyl rubber and hot bitumen and plastic sheets these are all flexible materials are useful for damp proofing walls coming to semi rigid material so mastic asphalt is a semi rigid material coming to rigid damp proofing material it is bricks it is stones it is slates and it is cement concrete so here you can say slate is useful for damp proofing material so answer a for question number 45 it is a diff some difficult question okay coming to 46th question the process of providing smooth face and regular face to stone is known as obviously it is nothing but it is dressing okay quarrying means extraction of stone from iron ore sorry from its ore from its rock is nothing but it is quarrying seasoning means to maintain to remove moisture content so the process is seasoning coming to pitching very important term so pitching is a technique that involves interlocking of large stones and the placement of stones on a sloped surface so that is interlocking between large stones placed on a sloped surface this you can see in brick in reservoirs when you provide a large reservoir sloping side is provided for the embankment okay so that is nothing but it is a pitching and to give proper shape and size of a stone is nothing but it is a dressing so answer d for question number 46 coming to 47 the natural bedding plane of stones under the direction of pressure so the pressure is applied in vertical direction bedding plane is horizontal when we place it, these stones are like this so both are at 90 degrees so that is normal three times repeated this question 47 question number answer a coming to 48 quartzite and marble are by nature marble metamorphic quartzite metamorphic quartzite and marble or metamorphic rocks repeated question repeated question okay so it is answer d coming to question number 49 under heat and pressure granite can transform into so you can say here it is so granite when subjected to heat and pressure it will shift into gneisses so this is answer d for question number 49 and i am specifying some rocks or stones they will convert their position either from igneous or sedimentary to metamorphic rocks so you can say here it is granite is igneous rock actually after heat and pressure it will be converted into gneisses okay and basalt is again igneous rock it will converted into laterite metamorphic rock and limestone mudstone and sandstone limestone converted into marble and mudstone converted into slate sandstone converted into quartzite 
ओके सो मार्बल एंड क्वार्टजाइट आर मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स इन द अर्लियर क्वेश्चन ओके सो व्हेन ऑल दीस थ्री आर सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स व्हेन दे सब्जेक्टेड टू हीट एंड टेंपरेचर they will convert it into their respective metamorphic rock configuration so as usual granite can be transformed into gneiss so granite is igneous rock gneiss is metamorphic rock answer d for question number 49 coming to 50 granite is a rock that is its by nature so granite is generally formed cooling of magma before reaching earth surface that is called intrusive igneous rock intrusive igneous rock okay so intrusive igneous rock is also called as one side told plutonic rocks so answer c for question number 50 coming to 51 basalt stone is by nature so magma cooling takes place after reaching earth so this is called extrusive igneous rock okay extrusive igneous rock means when solidification of magma takes place after reaching the earth okay this is also called as volcan okay so answer b for question number 51 basalt is a type of volcanic rocks i am telling you once again intrusive magma inside pools it is also called as plutonic extrusive magma pools after reaching earth it is also called as volcanic clear so basalt is an example of extrusive and in the earlier question granite is an example of plutonic or intrusive coming to question number 52 the most suitable stone for building piers is so you can say obviously it is granite granite is obviously it is an igneous rock it is hard and durable so when it is hard as much as and it is durable it is used for building piers okay so that is supports in the bridges build supports in the bridges for example if it is a bridge so this is an embankment apartment so here the supporting in the movement it is piers this is apartment okay so answer a for question number 52 coming to 53rd question crushing strength of good building stone should not be should be more than 100 mp i think 3 to 4 times this question has been repeated question number 53 answer b coming to 54 hardness of rock can be tested in situ using so obviously first is smith test smith test is useful for so used to find presence of soluble matters in stone so smith test main purpose is if there any soluble material in the stone that soluble material can be calculated can be observed in the smith test now skimmer hammer test 
schematic hammer test. So this schematic hammer test is used to determine compressive strength. Compressive strength is an indication of hardness. Okay, so hardness schematic hammer test. The remaining test I am discussing acid test used to investigate how much atmospheric action can be resisted by stone. Atmospheric action means temperature changes, rainfall, wind, snow, ice. These are all atmospheric actions. So these are all how much a stone can resisted. So that can be done by acid test. Coming to crystallization test. Crystallization test. So crystallization test used to determine Durability of the stone. Durability of the stone. Okay, so obviously answer B for question number 54. Coming to 55 question, crushing strength of good building stone obviously 100 MPA or 1000 kg per centimeter square. It should not be less than or it should be more than 100 or 1000. Sandstone is obviously sandstone is sedimentary rock. You can see the examples. Sandstone is sedimentary rock. So answer A for question number 56. Coming to 57, rocks having alumina or clay as the major constituent. If the rocks are having major constituent as silicate, they are called siliceous. If the rocks are having major constituents as alumina or clay, argillaceous rocks. Argillaceous rocks. Okay, so answer B for question number 57. Coming to 58, which of the following is a rock? So, he has given some minerals and some rocks. First of all, we need to know what is a rock, what is a mineral. So, mineral. A mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic solid with a definite chemical composition. Definite chemical composition and a crystalline structure example quartz and mica and gypsum. Okay, so all the given options are minerals. None of the given option is a rock. Generally rock means is an aggregate of wood. Aggregate of wood. Okay, generally. So, option D for question number 58. Coming to 59th question. A stone is rejected if it absorbs water more than. So, 5% or 10% generally 5% water absorbed water range 5 to 10% so any stone can be absorbed any stone can absorb 5 to 10 percentage of water it cannot absorb more than 10% so answer B for question number 59 repeat it question again 60 Plaster of Paris is obtained by calcining gypsum. 60 question answer B. Coming to 
61 question chemically marble is known as marble is it is a calcium carbonate calcium carbonate having rock is nothing but it is calcareous rocks marble has calcium carbonate as main constituent so it is calcareous so answer c for question number 61 coming to 62 question out of the following which may be termed as unstratified rock so in the physical classification of rocks stratified unstratified and foliated so stratified unstratified and foliated so unstratified are granite and marble and trap foliated slate gnisses and stratified sandstone limestone and slate so given option marble it is unstratified okay coming to last question of the first chapter in the building materials and concrete technology so an explosive which contains 65 percent salt peter and 20 percent sulfur 15 percent charcoal so this is composition contained by blasting powder okay so blasting powder will consist of 65 percent saltpeter and 20 percent sulfur and 15 percent charcoal okay so this is the second part of first chapter in the building materials and concrete technology so if you haven't seen the first part first you can see the first part then only you can watch the second part otherwise most of the concept has been explained in first part okay in the first part there are 25 questions here 26 to 63 questions so all the previous questions from 2020 to 2005 questions will be covered in this entire unit entire two parts Thank you.